G'day guys, Corey here. So today the weather's a bit rubbish, so I thought I might run you through how I set up my anchor. Um, I don't usually use an anchor when I go out, however I always carry one. Partly because it's uh, mandated by a couple of the clubs that I'm involved with, but also I think it's a good idea just for safety's sake. Um, you know, you never know when you're going to lose power or you need to, um, you know, if you have the radio for help or whatever, it's a good idea to stay, stay where you are, away from rocks and, and wait for the, the cavalry to arrive. Um, so anyway, the key to my setup is my metre and a half length of bungee with carabiners on each end and a buoy on one end. Um, I use this uh, pretty much every time I go out. I uh, clip, clip this end onto uh, the bow um, and this end up over the, the top of my fish finder or my, um, my mirror. Um, and that allows me to um, clip on the anchor while we're underway, deploy it, retrieve it. Um, and then stow it again all from the seat without having to get wet or you know worry about getting pulled side on into the surf. So I'll just run you through how that's set up. Um, if, if you haven't seen it already, uh, I run through how to set up these, um, these crimped ends on the, on the bungee um, in one of my other videos, so please check that out if you don't know what, I'm, what I've done. Um, but anyway, how I set it up. Generally, if I'm gonna use a, an anchor while I'm fishing, I'll clip this end onto the bow. Now obviously I'll do that while I'm alongside and then I'll pull my float up over the top of my fish finder like so. Um, then that's in with easy reach for me when I'm underway. Um, basically what that allows me to do, imagine I'm at my fishing spot, I know where I want to be. Um, I'll grab my anchor out and put it in, put it in my footwell. Now I, I carry um, my anchor, warp and, and rope uh, in this waterproof bag so then I can just um, stick it up in the footwell like so and clip the other end of the rope and the bag onto my little bungee up the front here. What that allows me to do, again, so I'll deploy my anchor and then when I get it at the, the length I want I'll tie a loop, clip that onto my bungee, and away we go. Now that'll that'll go, it won't go too far. Um, and again, even if it deploys all the way or it comes loose, um, my carabiner here will stop everything from going AWOL. Well. Then when it comes time to retrieve, we just pull on this rope, which then pulls our buoy back, unclip our rope, Stow our boy again, and then pull the rope the rest of the way in, and our anchor. Um, and that's that. Obviously you put your rope back away. So whether I'm using the Cooper's anchor or I'm using a sea anchor, the process is pretty much the same. Um, when I'm underway I can just <coughs> unclip my rope. from my anchor, clip it onto my sea anchor and deploy same way. Sea anchor away. It's a bit messy here with doing everything but oh, it's at my feet. Again, little loop, clip into the carabiner, deploy the float. So a piece of cake. Now let's unclip that. If I was intending to spend the day at the beach, um, I'd still use the same setup, except I've got a shorter rope. And what I'll do is I'll clip the shorter rope onto the anchor chain, like so. I have this end clipped onto the other end of my rope. And then that's bobbing away wherever I want the ski to be. I go out, come back, pick this up, clip this end onto the front, clip this end onto the front, like so. Doesn't work real well with a boat on the trailer, but anyway, you get the idea. 
I've got most of this set up looking at other people's YouTube channels. Um, one guy in particular, although I've customised it, it's pretty much his idea. So um, in the comments I'll put a link to his, um, his video so that you can see that. So that's that. If you got some value from the video, please give us a like, subscribe. Uh, there's plenty more to come. Thanks for watching. Cheers.